Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough level one again, of course. <laughs> Next up, Ravine Road. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, classic Kirby music. Oh, yeah. I just ran right into Waddle That is sad. <laughs> Out of my way, everyone. Out of my way, everyone. Is already a checkpoint for some reason. That's a booster thingajigger. I don't know their exact names, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, I want to explore up here because wow, I'm I, I can't believe I'm doing this terribly. <laughs> because I want to no 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 because I want to get yes the metal up here. Oh yeah. By the way, those spiders are called Comos. Yeah, C O M O. And uh, these bottomless pits in this particular area, you can't actually fall into because of the wind. Yeah, <laughs> it just blows you right out. But that's kind of interesting, actually. So to give you a introduction to a bottomless pit, how it looks, you know, with those arrows and whatnot, without actually putting you in the danger of a bottomless pit. <laughs> But don't worry, there will be actual bottomless pits to come. Uh, I'm just gonna explore up here though, because I need something. A little bitty bitty rockety rocket. Look at that! I failed. <laughs> That's Bang Bang, a bomb enemy, and I need that for something a little bit later on here. That's why I wanted to go up here. So tap! There we go! <laughs> Still getting used to playing this on a PC, by the way, obviously. So anyway, I just want to fly, fly over to the sky! Well, I'm actually already in the sky, but over to the side, it's more accurate. It's actually straight across from here, and you just go, Wee! And there's a metal! Oh yeah, but I'm not gonna actually, you know, do this. You just go to the end like that. That just seems kind of dumb to not explore the rest of this here. So let's just fly on back here <laughs> through the wild blue yonder. And yeah, as you've seen me do before, I can redirect my movements by simply creating like little slider ramp things to move on. You can also move out of ball form just by doing that. And yeah, I'm gonna actually get rid of that. <laughs> I mean, uh, excuse me, move back to ball form, not out of missile form, uh, by doing so. By the way, these are sticky. Yeah, they stop you in your place just like those walls do, and you can go like that, and stuff like that. There's a checkpoint down here, even though you kind of don't need it at all. You also don't need to hit these switches at all, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, these uh, switches right here, they open the doors that you see here. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you would need them if you weren't going at the pace that I'm going, but since I'm kind of akin to the game's physics and whatnot, I can kind of go past those without too much ire. Anyway, let's get ourselves down through here by tapping our way through the bomb blocks. Hello there, wheelie. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> mm, go! I'm not gonna go that way just yet. I want to go and explore the upper territories of the world because why not? No, 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 no! Don't you dare, Bronto Burts! Don't you dare! There really wasn't much to explore, was there? <laughs> no, 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 no! Bottomless pit, bottomless pit. Oh, I lost my wheel. That is the saddest thing. I could go back for it because when you go far enough away, the enemy respawns. But still, it's the saddest thing. Hey, I got another wheel. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go like, ooh, aww, okay, I'm gonna let those bubble blocks respawn here for a sec here. And you just go around and back, and they should be respawned already. No, 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 no. Let me down. Let me down. I'll get that checkpoint in a minute. Go, ooh, oh, they didn't respawn. <laughs> oh, I don't know, spikies. Ah, this is good enough. This is, this is perfectly fine. I can do it this way, too. <laughs> And as you've seen on the other route, there's a checkpoint. I, I guess if you would like to grab that, potentially, maybe? Potentially, might be? I'm kind of low on health, though. But I don't know why there's a checkpoint so close to the end of such an easy section here. I mean, yeah, I, I can literally just do that and <laughs> get through it with flying colors. Anyway, let's just take the other way. <laughs> maybe because it's, you know, early game shenanigans, people might have ire with this sort of thing. 
maybe, might be, could be, well, I'm already experienced, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Alright, boss game! Oh, we get a choice! We get a choice! Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I'll just do them in order here. <laughs> so, as you can see, level one here. Uh, there's different levels to these boss games. The boss game is at the end of each world, basically. Alright, Drossia, do your worst! What you got, what you got, what you got? It's this very sketchy Krako Jr., of course! And this game is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> but it's only because I have difficulties hitting Krako Jr., but you'll see when I get into this. It's a lot like Arachnoid in that, uh, yeah, you bounce around like so, and you kill enemies like so, and once you kill all the enemies, you open the gates, and then when you open the gates, you can go to the next area, and I actually should have grabbed that soda, or water. <laughs> But that is okay, There's, there'll be more, more to come. Yes, this is level one after all, easy stuff. Meh, to an extent, even though this is still kind of tricky. It's, um, if you if you recall, there's a mini game like this in uh, Super Mario 64 DS, in a way that you bounce Marios to keep them going, and that's a bomb block, by the way, and they, uh, ah! I didn't mean to bounce myself into it, but... <laughs> But anyway, yeah, there's this, there's something relatively similar to that in Mario. We gotta keep things up by drawing uh, platforms at various angles to keep the Marios going at a comfortable pace, I guess you could say. And it sort of reminds me of that in this way, even though that there isn't any bottomless pit here, of course. <laughs> uh, I want to hit the bomb, me bomb, 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 bomb. There we go. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> I gotta get into the crevices with a Bronto Bird side out. And then after this, I believe, is where Krako Jr. will reside. Oh, and there we go. There we go. We're out of here. <laughs> We're going too slow. Too slow! <laughs> oh, still not. Still not. Nope. Still not Krako Jr. That's okay. Hey, how are you guys hovering in midair there? That's. It's a little weird there. <laughs> no, no, no! Spikies. <laughs> Uh, by the way, as you can tell, some blocks require more than one hit, and they change color to indicate how much health they have left. Uh, more, more specifically, it's actually their stars that indicate how much health they have left more than their color, but their color helps too. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going back down there. I've got, I've got my combo going here, where I don't have to touch anything for the most part. Ooh, Maxim Tomato, Maxim Tomato! Yeah, I wanted to get that before. <laughs> Because now it's Krako Jr. time. Go, 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 yeah. Now, uh, this is pretty creative here. Uh, first, we've got, yeah, see those typical cloud bubble type things that he has? Well, we gotta get in between them, and that's not the easiest thing to do when you are moving haphazard like this, but in this particular fight, you can't die. So it's just like a, a warm up, I guess you could say, to future Krako Jr. fights. Just a matter of, uh, getting yourself in there, and sometimes you can get in there while it's spinning, but not all that often. <laughs> uh, I forgot what that does, I believe it increases speed. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, I mean, it's the speed of you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, we can do this! Uh, hmm, actually, I'm not sure what that <laughs> I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't forget anything else, though, so far, so... That is... My one savior in this walkthrough. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Bounce in, bounce in. Aw, oh, I thought it was at the right angle. Oh, get in there, get it, yeah! <laughs> See, you can get in there when it spins sometimes. Oh yeah, I win. <laughs> Kirby, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it! Yeah! I don't know where I would be if not for the Kirby dance. Yes. <laughs> Alright, uh, Rainbow Run is a thing I'll be doing later. It's pretty dang hard. Let's just put it that way, at least to 100% it. Arrange Gorge, obviously based off the color orange. Let's begin! 2-1, the Ghost Grounds. Ooh, spooky, but also incredibly artistic. Just like all the levels you've seen so far, and you can hit buttons to you move fans around, it is awesome all over the place. And I would like to go 
up to said corner. There always seems to be something hidden in those corners in the early levels, don't they? Don't I mean, doesn't there seem to be? <laughs> yeah, I'm low on rainbow there. So it's, it's a bobo. <laughs> and I, that'll come in handy for a little bit later on. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna move it on down through here and hopefully not take a hit. Because I do need the bobo to get something. <laughs> Uh, actually, I want—I don't want to—I don't want to go down there just yet. Actually, I'd like to go and explore a couple lower areas here just for kicks, just for the kicks. Because why not the kicks? Ah, oh, shoot! I lost my fire <laughs> while burning. Uh, actually, there really isn't that much to show down here, is there? Maybe I'll just move on with the groove on. Yeah, <laughs> and we go, Kirby. Go. By the way, you'll notice when you draw a. Uh, a line between you and the fans, it cuts off the gustiness that's going on there. And uh, I'm, I'm partially tempted to get that drink there, but eh, whatever. Anyway, pop bubbles to get Kirby out of them. Uh, they help you move upwards, though, so you might want to actually hold up on that until you get to the height that you're looking for. Just uh, mm, just saying. Still gotta get used to the PC! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got the checkpoint anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> but I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot of dumb deaths like that because of my inability to get used to playing without actually looking at my hand uh, with a stylus on this game. Because I'm used to playing this game while looking at where my stylus is in relation to where I am on the screen. I mean, the cursor helps, for sure, but it's not a perfect solution to feel, let's put it that way. Um, I need Sparky guy. Oh, maybe, maybe this isn't the one. This isn't the one that I need. Um, uh, the Bobo guy to get through stuff. Maybe it's something a little bit like a not like a later level. Uh, we'll see. But I need some power in this particular area. I'm, nah. See, I'm miss tapping because I'm. Yeah, I'm not jabbing in the right places. <laughs> Instinctively, I should say. Ah, I was too slow to get on it. I will, I assure you, bake it through this game. <laughs> okay, now I think uh, maybe you're... I don't know if you're the one that I need. But you may most certainly make it easier to get through these blocks without having to uh, tap stuff. And I do think I need to get something around these parts. Okay, I do need... I think it's that sparky guy right there. Yeah, that... It doesn't give you the plasma item, I mean, plasma power this time, it's... I'm so sad. So sad. Then again, it's pop plasma is like the most broken thing in the history of Kirby games. But still, it's fun. Oh, shoot! I gotta reset it. <laughs> okay, I think that might actually be enough. Maybe, might be. No, it was not. I need to go back further. I want to show the spark power, though. It's it's still pretty cool, actually. And I would like to get you out of my way so I can safely get back. Ah, it's so tight. <laughs> there I go. That's as far left as I can go. If I didn't respawn the sparky guy, I'm... Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Hmm, maybe I shall... Potentially... suicide. <laughs> That's my only option in this point. So I can get the thing that I need to get. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and boop. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stun you. Repeatedly! And take your power. Yeah, the spark gives you the power of hitting things. Well, not not only just by touching them, but also directly above you. And I need that for something coming up rather shortly. And it's around the corner here. Yep, at least I remembered that. There we go. And I really, really should be playing more careful here because I definitely play better when I'm playing at a slower pace. Let's just put it that way. Uh, both those doors that you see leads to the same place over here, so not really that big of a deal uh, if you don't go in one door or the other. Um, 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 I'm gonna use this and fly! Woo! And we're done. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna keep my spark though, this is fun. I like my spark. 
I like my spark. I'm gonna go through the star gates to grab deliciousness. I can't get that, obviously. I need the power of another switch, so... Yeah, uh, another coin's gonna have to go by the wayside. However, I can go up here if I have the power of spark, as you've seen. Which will allow me to do that. And, well, actually, it's not that essential to have spark to get up there. You can always tap the blocks over here to get that way, either way, so it's not that big of a deal, really. It's just that spark helps you get in there a little bit faster. Just a little bit longer. At, oh, what? Oh, forget about it. <laughs> and, I don't know, no, 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 I probably should have went in that cannon! <laughs> Yeah, that would have probably shot me through the spikes harmlessly. Eh, let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I'm just tapping everything randomly for fun. <laughs> yeah, I gotta open up two square size holes there to make it through. Alright! Now for another dash jump. Let's do this! You know how this runs. How well will I do it this time though? My record is 1062! Oh, that's not even close. <laughs> but that's alright. I made it through another level somehow, but I will have to come back through there later for said last medal because, yeah, yeah. Wait, actually, I think I missed another medal in there. Well, 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 hmm, hmm. I'll be back there later anyway. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.